Ah, the Sony PVM, the Cadillac of CRT monitors. Welcome back to Retro Tech. I'm Steve, and today I've got a special demo here for you. I've got a few CRTs set up. Now, once you get a Sony PVM, you may notice something that it obviously has a lot of buttons, and you'll learn how to use those somewhat, and you'll get your screen nice and set, but there are some things that you can control that aren't actually on any of these buttons. And today we're gonna go over one of those. I've got a demo set up again with three PVMs, and we're gonna show you how to turn on one of the special features that you can't use any of these buttons or menus to get to, and that is how to turn on this light right here. So today we're gonna to look at one of the more rare and obscure features of a PVM, and that's the tally light system. The tally light system is controlled in the rear of the PVM under the remote control input. So today we're gonna to go through that more clearly and show you how to activate the tally light. But before we jump into that, please do me a favor, won't you, and hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. And also, if this video is helpful at all to you, please go ahead and hit the like button. Now the first thing you will need is a small jumper wire. This is the jumper wire I use. It's a simple wire with just some metal ends on it, kind of a higher quality cable, and it's great for doing little jumper tasks. Now the first monitor in this test is gonna be an Olympus 142 or a 1353 MD and you need to find this remote area, this pin out, and you need to find the jumper wire and stick it in these two spots on this monitor. If you have this particular pin out, it's just these two spots, there's another look at it. And once you jump those two together, that enables the tally light to come on once you power on the CRT. Let's try another monitor now and see what it will be like if we do the same process. Now, this monitor actually has a different remote setup. You can see the remote pinout. It has a lot more pins here. So you can always look to the manual, and once you find the manual, it tells you what each pin is. Today, we're gonna use number seven. That's the tally pin, and then any of the ground pins that are listed there. If we jump those two together with our jumper cable, then we should be able to turn the power on on the front of the PVM and hopefully our tally light will also come on. This other monitor is a 1354Q. This would work for a 1954Q, really any 54Qs, and anything with this certain 20 pin pin out. Let's turn it on and see what happens. Oh wow, so see, this has another indicator light and this one's actually red. It looks orange on screen, but see I turn it out and it turns off. Turn it on, right back on. All right, thank you very much to Justin. Justin, your great patron and your idea for this video was really spot on and I hope I did it well. Now, if you are looking for some more content, just wanna let you know this December, I've got a lot planned. We're gonna do a few more CRT videos, including the tube swap video. We're gonna do some more repairs. And I've also got some new things this month where we're gonna look at some consoles to mod for RGB and just some great content overall. Anyway, let me know what you think with a comment below. I'm Steve, thanks again for watching and subscribing and have a great day.